As Ireland heads towards Friday's referendum, the two sides fight for space on lampposts. A yes vote would strip the Eighth Amendment from the Constitution and pave the way for legal abortions. Though the yes camp has led in the polls, recently pro-life voters have gained ground, many turning out in the streets for the unborn. Abortion will end their lives, and it almost ended mine. I'm alive today because of the Eighth Amendment. When I found out, I kind of thought, you know, I can't in good conscience sit back and do nothing. I don't think any life should be taken away from anybody. My sister was um, suggested to be aborted, and now she's fine, just a normal girl going to school. The Eighth Amendment provides protections that an unborn child's life should be considered equal to his or her mother. Opponents argue that that part of the Irish Constitution endangers women. If we retain the Eighth Amendment, what Ireland will be saying, it will be saying that we are going to continue to require women to be dying before they qualify for termination of pregnancy. We are going to continue with the growing problem of backstreet abortion. And for women who are raped, they will continue to be expected to carry their pregnancy to term. But other doctors say the life of a mother is protected with the Eighth Amendment in place. I follow the Irish Medical Council guidelines as a GP, and they're very clear. So when a woman comes to me as a GP, I must look after her and her baby. There are two patients in front of me. Both of them are deserving of respect and compassion. If the yes vote prevails, new legislation will be introduced legalizing abortion up to the 12th week of pregnancy. We should be talking about perinatal hospice care, adoption services, financial support for women, better childcare services, all these things that can unite us in a positive, life-affirming way. That's what we should be talking about, not whether we should remove the right to life for unborn children. Thousands of Irish citizens living abroad have been coming home to cast their votes. Conrad Aderer, Currents News.